I want border security. Democrats want border security. We also want comprehensive. But you don't want any walls. I want comprehensive immigration reform. I want to actually address the issue more comprehensively, just like Ronald Reagan did in 1989. Just like, and with respect, Sean, you promoted yourself with the Gang of Eight and bipartisan legislation that got 68 votes in the Senate only to die in the House that could fundamentally address this issue, which is the issue. So I don't see those But I binaries. always had as my position, build the wall first. You're against building any wall. I know. I have no problem with the 650 plus miles we have on border walls. I come from a state with the largest, I mean, San Isidro is the largest land port in the Western Hemisphere. I don't need to be educated on the issue of the border or issues of immigration policy. Well, One look, thing, Medi-Cal for illegals is $2.7 billion to the state. And how many billions are we spending for uncompensated care? People end up in the emergency. Can I ask you? On the back end, wasting taxpayer money. Why is it wrong? It's the cards that are dealt in the absence of comprehensive reform. I'm all for comprehensive reform. I'm for background checks. I'm for addressing border security and all its forms and manifestations, not just walls. I'm addressing a legal pathway. I'm actually wanting to address all these issues. but. I want to do it in a rational way and not just bastardize the conversation as exclusively about the border. Yeah, okay. Look, uh, there's, everybody has their quiet chatter, uh, and everybody's out there rooting for America. Uh, I'm rooting for our president, and I have great confidence in his I don't leadership want him, I don't want and him to what fail. he's been able to accomplish. I think he, his policies are failing. Ah, Chips Act, Science Act, do you oppose that? Uh, I will tell you, on every measure from the economy, inflation, borders, energy, uh, national security, he's missing in action. Let's talk about them in order. Let's well, talk hang on. Uh, 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 wait, wait, no, I no, want to no. challenge the premise. You said the economy, 13.1 million jobs he's created. More. These are post COVID jobs. Okay. You know that. Well, well, I mean, well, that, that's an artificial well, number. It, well, but no, no, no. Then let me just let me stipulate so. this as an, as an opportunity to engage civilly on this. Okay. Fair point. Your president, Donald Trump, lost 2.6 million jobs mm -hmm. during his four years. We've created 13.1 million. Fine, you can maintain a COVID frame. How about the fact that Joe Biden's created more jobs, six times more jobs than the previous three Republican presidents your, combined? Are you going to tell me Sean? that the average family, where we have two thirds of Americans now living paycheck to paycheck, it was 70 percent under Trump? Trump. That was 70 percent. It was 70 percent under Donald Trump. Pre COVID, Trump we had the lowest unemployment rate for every demographic. We, we, now, we have the lowest black me, unemployment in history, you. and you and I are living with the lowest unemployment we had in it. our lifetime, we, Sean. We you had can't it for make every that up. demographic, and the economy black was Black unemployment's along. record low under Joe Biden. Okay. We had historic low after historic low under Donald Trump. Donald Trump. I mean, here's, but, but he's here's cleaned what I don't want to have Trump's happen. clock, Biden, in terms of the progress and job creation. You're, 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 you're not, on inflation, we're moving in the right direction. On the issue of the border inflation, security, he inherited 1.4% inflation. It went up to 40 year globally, high after 40 year globally. high. Globally. Globally, because you just brought so up, so, so you were making an excuse for Trump's dismal jobs record related to COVID. It wasn't a but dismal you won't jobs record. acknowledge COVID's relationship to inflation globally. And by the way, let, COVID let me and stop immigration you for a impacting right. our inflation. Let, let me be strong enough years. to be president. That's I'm, strong I'm enough. Look about what he just did to McCarthy. He ran Vince circles. Look, look at the vote card. I didn't Kevin like the just vote. Got, I wouldn't I mean, have voted for it. Exactly. Kevin got played by the president of the United States. I'm for results. I'm for results. Is that, is that, a, is that a lie? No. Let's, here's what you're promoting. You're promoting regressive tax policy. We don't believe in regressive tax policy. You're promoting one component of entire tax system, the 1%. With all due respect, you and I may pay the 1%. The vast majority of people watching don't. You pay more taxes in states like Texas for the middle class than you do in states okay. like California. Right now, Hold on. No, no, no. This is important. We have too many The American people don't know this. We have the highest tax rate for the 1%. But middle class families actually pay less than the majority of states in America, in California. The so, question is, who are you for? So who are you fighting for? I, I am You're manipulating some fundamental facts. You're omitting the fact that the vast majority of people do not live in the 1%. You're talking about the 1% tax. 1% pays half of it. Yeah, I understand that. But I'm talking about the American people don't live there. And the reality is when they live in Texas versus California, middle class pay more than they do in the state of California. Texas no companies. state. No, one half of America's $1 wow. billion dollar valued companies are in the state of California. This right. state economy has outperformed the nation, 3.1% in the last decade, 2.1% nationwide. 
I've been hearing this nonsense for half a century, literally half a century. But they've People only left in out. recent years. We've created. How many have we created? How many new IPOs? How many new opportunities? How many jobs were taken out of the state of California when Tesla moved its headquarters? You don't know that because it was insignificant.